Now, I will turn this over to Larry Adams. All right, thank you very much, Donna. It's good to be here. Good to see all of you today. And uh, today I'm gonna do, uh, like Donna said, I'm gonna do a meditation. I'm first gonna talk about the pineal gland and heart relationship. And I'm gonna turn over to this chart. I hope you can see that. And the pineal gland is located behind the uh, brow chakra and below the crown chakra. And it sits in between the left and right hemisphere of the brain and sits on top of the spinal column. The pineal gland uh, is responsible for the circadian rhythm and it's our relationship to the sun, sunset, sunrise. It is a transducer of high frequency energy from the upper chakras. That's what we're gonna be working with today is the seven chakras in the body and there are seven chakras above, above as below. And what these are, are transducers of high frequencies, the highest being that of light. And as light enters in, these reduce that. So by the time it gets to the crown and the pineal gland, it's a frequency that our physical structure can handle. So the, the circuit here is energy coming in, high frequency, each one transducing it, going into the pineal gland and where it is, uh, the language of the pineal gland is geometric shapes, colors, uh, and tones. So that's the translation of the fre frequencies. And you may all be familiar in doing healing with flashes of color uh, images, what I call third eye images. Uh, and that's really coming from the pineal gland. The pineal gland, what it does is at nighttime, when the sun sets, the pineal gland will uh, start converting from serotonin production into melatonin production. This is Larry, you just froze. Larry? Can you hear me now? Now we can, thank you. Okay, good. I don't know where I was, <laughs> back to the pineal gland. You were talking about um, serotonin um, at nighttime, melatonin. Well, the melatonin at nighttime and where our sleeping time is the time in which we move from beta brain waves, which is our daily consciousness in the beta uh, brain wave mostly. At nighttime, when we're sleeping and in the dark, the melatonin production, we're also going into the alpha and the theta and delta brain waves, theta being where our dream state is, theta being where we're beyond the dream state. Each one of these uh, brain waves contributes to our overall health, healing, uh, and balance. So what we're gonna do today is we're of two bodies. We're of a physical body and we're of an energy body. And today we're going to bring higher energies into the physical body through the pineal gland. It goes to the heart. This is where white light comes in. This is the largest electromagnetic generator in the human body is the heart. It's been measured to extend well over eight feet outside the body. 
it both receives energy and generates energy. Same with the pineal gland. Okay, so we're going to be working with an octahedron as a geometric form. And this is a four corner pyramid. This is a four corner pyramid where the bases are touching. This is an octahedron. There are crystals in the pineal gland, which are what transmit, transduce, and receive these higher frequencies. Today, we're gonna to be working with this geometric form and the form of an octahedron. There are other crystals in the pineal gland as well that also conduct. This helps the whole electromagnetic system in the body, which also has uh, crystal formations throughout the rest of the, the system. So that's enough on the pineal gland. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the meditation. Uh, when I do the meditation, everyone should be muted, muted excuse me, and when I finish the meditation, which is about 15 minutes, I'm going to ring a bell, okay? That signifies, at that time, I want each of you to sit or lay comfortably so you're not feeling stress in your body and just receive the healing for about 30 minutes. It'll be in silence, okay? At the end of that, I will ring the bell again to signify that the session has uh, finished. Okay. We ask that this healing be integrated through all time, space, dimensions, and interdimensions throughout the hologram of life and existence. And so it is. Also like to add at this point that we are gonna be joining obviously James Twyman who also works with light and the heart. So I find that very interesting. We'll all be in the field together today. All right. Find yourself in a comfortable place and inhale from below your feet, a column of light energy up the core of your body to above your head. Exhale from above your head to below your feet. Continue this breath cycle. And with each breath cycle, allow the column of light energy in your core to expand until your whole body is in a column of light within, through, and all around your body. Continue the breath cycle. Inhale below your feet to above your head. Exhale from above your head to below your feet. Now extend a line of light energy from your tailbone into the earth, make a connection with this point. This is your ground. You can refer to this point if needed at any time to stay grounded. From this descending point, extend four lines of light energy up to the four corners of your room. 
creating an inverted pyramid with the apex of the pyramid descending into the earth. You are resting on the base of this descending pyramid. From the four corners of this base, extend four lines of light energy to an apex point above your head, above your higher self. creating an octahedron. Now extend a line of light energy up through your sacrum, up your spinal column, bringing your attention to your chakras. Breathe red into your root, up to your crown. Exhale red from your crown out your root. Inhale orange into the front of your navel. Exhale orange out the back of your navel. Inhale yellow into the front of your solar plexus. Exhale yellow out the back of your solar plexus. Inhale green into the front of your heart. Exhale green out the back of your heart. Inhale blue into the front of your throat. Exhale blue out the back of your throat. Inhale violet into the front of your brow. Exhale violet out the back of your brow. Breathe white into your crown, down to your root. Exhale white from your root out your crown. Now continue to extend that line of light energy up to a point above your head, above your higher self, where spirit guides, ancestors, and angelic energies meet. Let's ask to receive any help or assistance available for your session today. Divine infinite spirit that resides in us flows through us, is all around us. Thank you for being one with us, cleared, aligned, balanced, unified, coherent, centered, grounded. I release all of my past to the light. 
I release all of my needs to the light. I release all of my negatives to the light. Anger, fears, relationships, self-image, future, desires, sex, money, beliefs, judgments, communication, assumptions, and all that no longer serves you. I release them all to the light. I breathe in light through the center of my heart, opening my heart into a sphere of light, allowing myself to expand into a unified field, filling this octahedron with light, love, peace, joy, compassion. I am a light being. I radiate the light from my heart's light center throughout my being. I radiate the light from my heart's light center to every one. I radiate the light from my heart's light center to everything. I am in a unified field of light and only light can come to me. Only light can be here. Thank you, divine spirit for everything, for everyone and for me. I ask that everyone in this group today and those connected with us and those in the Ukraine receive exactly what they need here and now to continue their growth, expansion, and soul evolution. We open our crowns and hearts and ask to receive the freely given flow of universal, unconditional love that is our divine nature and is one with us. Grace everyone here today in your session here now.
Okay. Has everyone come back? Anyone have anything to say or share? I do. Um, first of all, it's extremely relaxing. <laughs> um, I mean, I always love to meditate, particularly with the energy of other people, because to me, it enhances, you know, the experience. So, and I really felt the light pulsating through me and coming out of me. Um, and it like, it, it wasn't me, it wasn't my physical body, but it was my emotional body that was, you know, expressing that light. And then I had to go to the bathroom real bad. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I broke the meditation and came back and then I started again. And I, and I equate that with like a second sleep, you know, how, when we go to sleep initially and then we get up, have to go to the bathroom and then we go back to our second sleep. So um, that was my experience. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Hi, Larry. This is Christine. I'll share my experience as well. Um, so during the meditation portion of it, um, you know, I could visualize everything very clearly and was just very nice because it was different. And then um, I could feel like um, tingling throughout my body. And then um, just that sense of almost like, um, like when you have butterflies in your stomach or like you want to shiver, but you don't, but you feel that, you know, kind of bit <laughs> um, that I felt during the meditation. And that kind of carried on with me as we started the healing portion as well, having the tingling throughout my body, just that feeling um, of like butterflies. And then I felt um, especially at the beginning, like a pronounced um, energy coming up from like my feet, from below my feet, up my legs. Um, and then and also um, what I thought was very interesting was the hot and cold that I would experience. So usually if I had healings and they were like deep healings, I'm usually always freezing, you know, but this time what was interesting is that from my ankles up to the top of my head, I was warm, my feet cold. And then when I noticed my hands, um, like the, the, my right hand was warm, but then a couple of fingers, you know, just because I had my palms facing up, but I guess at some point they kind of, my fingers kind of curled up and turned turn towards my body. So it was like the top of my index and my middle finger on my left side were like cold, but yet my other hand was warm, but then it almost seemed like to shift. Then all of a sudden my left hand got warm. And then on my right hand, it was like a finger got cold and stuff like that. So I thought that was very interesting. And then I also felt a lot of pressure on my third eye, third eye area, especially in the beginning as well. It went, it was like, you felt the energy coming up from, you know, below my feet, up through my legs. And then all of a sudden I was brought to the attention of uh, my third eye because there was just a lot of pressure there. So it was very cool, very neat to experience. So thank you. Great. Did that pressure lessen uh, as it went on or? Yeah, it did. It did. So it was like, it started like it was kind of intense, not like overly intense, but you know, it was there and prominent, but then it lessened and then kind of 
went away. And then I, that's when I was like focusing more, like where I was noticing the difference of the hot, cold in the body. Okay, good, good. Thank you. I guess I'll go. So I, I felt I, I felt the vibrations um, real good at the beginning, which, which was a really nice uh, way to get started. Uh, I was focusing very much on my back as we were doing the breathing and feeling the vibrations come in. I've got a, a rib head that likes to pop out of place and uh, is, is generally quite noticeable. Um, and so as I was going through that, I kept waiting for the pain to go away. Um, and then I eventually realized, well, what is, as you started off in, in, the, in the meditation, just release it. And then, and then, so I decided, well, I'll just release it. Maybe that's not what's designed for me today. Maybe there's something else. And so at the very end, uh, um, like Jay and I also went to the bathroom. And when I uh, looked at my face in a mirror, yesterday I got blue light therapy for some actinic keratosis, the pre-cancer stuff. And it gives you a really intense sunburn. And I looked at my face and almost all the redness was gone and all the pain is pretty much gone too so I figured well maybe uh, I guess I didn't need the back thing and I came and sat back down in the chair and then I noticed what the, the back pain is gone too <laughs> yeah kind of by the way is that on your left uh, rib on your left side yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I was about to finish up and uh, I, I was uh, that caught my attention the rib yeah. <laughs> but it was towards the end yeah yeah very good very good yeah that that's interesting way because i have a, a rib that kind of pops out every once in a while on my left side too so um and larry's been working on that and i didn't know what that pain was emanating from until he identified it and um it's sort of like when you know what it is you can picture your skeletal system and see it come back in place you know it's like realigning the spine and and all the chakras and stuff so that's very interesting <laughs> it it is when the physical structure you're not physically working with it you're just uh, balancing the energy and the energy itself is what shifts the rib. Very good, very good. And just want to thank you, Larry. It was very nice. I just got nice and relaxed and, you know, so that was good. I still haven't been able to get my mind back to being nice and clear, but it's better than it was. So thank you. Good, welcome. Yeah. Larry, thank you very much. Um, I noticed, this is Wendy. I noticed that I couldn't breathe deeply enough. I just kept yawning a bigger and bigger yawn as I was, especially during the, the initial part of the meditation. And, um, and then I just kind of drifted off. <laughs> and it's a, it was very lovely. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. This is Neil. Um, I, I just had a very, I don't know if you remember me. I actually took a ZB class that you assisted with when I was in acupuncture school like 25 years ago. But anyway, we did a session <laughs> on that. <laughs> um, but... Um, yeah, so I mean, it was just incredibly deeply relaxing, and I was just feeling, uh, just felt like some wavy pulsation experiences, um, and yeah, it just felt like in, in some ways I just wanted to kind of dissolve and let go into something. I don't, I don't know. I can't really articulate much more than that, but it was a lovely experience. Thank you. Welcome. Good. Good to hear. Anyone else? <laughs> Who 
Who's K20V? Someone is coded here. I think they popped on a little late, so I'm not sure if they were able to enjoy some of this oh. healing and meditation that you provided to us today, but hopefully if not, they will catch the replay because this was really good. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Larry, what was your experience? Well, I, it, um, I'm used to doing this uh, by focusing on just one person. Uh, so initially, um, I had to find uh, someone in the group to kind of act like a surrogate. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, somewhere about, um, I would say about two thirds of the way through, uh, it went from seeing what I see is, is dark spaces increase the vibration and I, and I see light. Um, and that's how I know it's kind of like complete where it starts lighting up. So with a whole group of you at the same time, the light got quite intense at, at times. And I realized that was kind of a collective uh, light going on. Toward uh, two thirds of the way through, it got very specific and individual with each of you. I, didn't, I couldn't identify who it was. For example, Lee's rib, I was very aware that I was working on someone's rib. And the, it kind of went everywhere. It was, it went in uh, someone's liver, uh, called my attention. And uh, one thing that really did call my attention is the lining along someone's esophagus and stomach. Um, some irritation there that was uh, being worked on as well. Um, someone's right knee. <laughs> but I was getting that this was, you know, I was at that point, I was be able, able to, to uh, connect with each one of you. So that was, that was good for me um, to do that. I don't know if anyone could relate to those things I just said. But um, um, sometimes it's even the people that we're thinking about, especially when we're doing the, uh, doing the distance work and inviting people in. And I did personally feel a very clear point of connecting with the global session with James Twyman. Um, uh, that may have been where the light got very strong for me. Well, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Yeah. Larry, this is Donna, not Alice. And it sounds like this was very successful. Uh, you and I were chatting before we opened the session that this was your first group healing. <laughs> and um, so this was, this was great. You connected well with everyone and um, and it sounds like everyone had a very good experience. Good, good. Yeah, this was, yeah, this is a good experience for me. <laughs> I'll have to do it again. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. Yes, for sure. And I just agree um, with Donna. I mean, I know for me, um, just like everyone else, it definitely was very strong and very palpable. So thank you very much. Good. One thing I can say, I have found doing this work that um, it lasts a very long time. Uh, there may be some shifts you're not fully aware of at the moment, but you might notice over 
a week or so that something has shifted uh, that you, you know, and then go, okay, that may seems like it's connected to this session. So just, just to be aware of that possibility. Well, and Larry, I wonder if what Jane said is, um, she said that she feels a stronger connection when there is a group and she has the group energy. And um, so I was thinking about what Jane said and then what you had said that this is your first group healing. And I thought really this could be a very powerful way to, to connect with people. Yeah. Because you are getting the collective energy. And you even, you brought in global energy, um, not just this group. Right, right. Yeah, I think the more we do this, this is what really is going to shift and bring peace to the world. Um, starts with us and uh, starts with us in this, uh, um, in this way, you know, connecting to ourselves and our energy. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. And then when people listen to the recording, um, those who were in attendance today and those who could not attend, would you say that the healing portion, the meditation was fabulous, but um, would you say that the healing session will be just as powerful? For That's people? a very good question, yeah. I'd be curious. <laughs> okay. I would, I would um, think just so, a, my, in my past experience, I would think that that uh, would happen. Yes, and I just wanted to chime in if that's okay and saying, Donna, yeah, absolutely. I've, I've done many of those where it's like you come back and you listen to the recordings later and it's just as powerful um, oh, as being there during the original session so oh. anybody who jumps on later and stuff they'll mm -hmm. get the same benefits that we all did <clears throat> well that's interesting christine um because of course the meditation he is speaking he's walking us through um but during the healing i uh, i i could not engage of course as deeply because i needed to keep an eye on things but um that that is interesting during the 20 minutes or so of silence. And I thought, how will the recording come across for people? <laughs> so that that's wonderful that the energy will come through. So thanks, Christine. Yeah, absolutely. Cause you got to remember there's no time, space, that sort of thing. All you have to be, all you have to do is just be open and, you know, to receiving it and it'll come through. So, yeah. So even if you decide to come back and look at this later to really, you know, get the full enjoyment of it, then you'll, you'll notice that it's like the same, um, just as you were present with us today. Mm. Yeah, just realize that the tape didn't end at the end of the meditation. <laughs> as I, I think it's kind of funny, you know, we were recording silence, but uh, <laughs> you have to tell them, wait for the bell at the end. <laughs> but but also visually, um, because I, I had to keep my eyes open and I could see you moving around. And um, that also, for me, it was very interesting to see you doing the hand motions. Um, and just, I, I could just see that you were very engaged. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions? And then if, if you joined late, Larry would like people to send him an email to, to share your continued reactions if you have them. Um, and as you mentioned, Larry, just a few minutes ago that sometimes there can be a delay, um, not a delay, but I guess other, other feelings will come up. And so he would like you to share them in the chat box. I did put his email address, but it is zblarry at comcast.net. So please 
continue to, um, or not continue, but please let him know if you do have continued healing and responses. Great, thank you. Are there questions, comments? We technically have until 1.30. Well, I, I I need to log off in about three minutes, but um, first of all, I just wanted to say it's good to see faces that I haven't seen before and good to see, fa yeah, hi, Joyce. <laughs> good to see you. And Larry, thank you so much, dear, for your um, healing energy. Um, I go to Larry once a month for zero balancing. And, and I tell you, it's really part of my plan to keep me frisky. So, um, you know, so how could it not help but be transmitted through the ethers through the screen? So, um, because he's very uh, committed to his work and dedicated to healing. So um, thank you, Larry, so much. So it's good to see you all. Wish I could see Donna and Wendy and Christine, but you know, that. <laughs> My my camera, I I have an elderly laptop and then I have a brand new Mac. So I need my elderly laptop. The camera decided not to work, but I will start using my Mac. Um, and then Christine, in fact, I was just going to say oh, before, we, <laughs> <my sweetheart. laughs> um, before we log off that we do wrap up around 1.15 and then we leave about 15 minutes for a closing prayer. And I was going to ask if anyone would like to lead the closing prayer. And Jane, I know that you need to go. And then also, Larry, I was going to ask if you can maybe explain zero balance healing for anyone who might be interested in that. Um, so we do have about 15 minutes to wrap up and say a closing prayer. Love you. Bye. Bye, Jane. Jane, yeah. do you have time to do closing prayer? Who? Oh, um, well, okay. I'm not sure what it's going to sound like. I don't know what that means. I mean, I can do it now. If I can do it now. Yeah. And time. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's all do join together in consciousness, set our intention to connect with each other in consciousness. And I always invite people to go to that field of unconditional love. It is always there available to us. It runs through us, over and under us. And let's know that as we play in that field of unconditional love, that we are all so intimately connected. Our hearts, our minds, our souls are connected. So through this experience today, we have gained more than words can say. It is still to be revealed, the energies that will continue to flow through us, the love that will continue to flow from our hearts. And I know that as I think a thought, I know that as I say my words, and I know that as I set my intentions, what I say, do, feel is so. So I know that I am in love with the world. I send this love out and out and out to all of the dark spaces that just need the light to be switched on. And as I feel that within my body, as I say that with my words, as I think it in my mind, I know it becomes so, so incredibly grateful for this experience. So incredibly grateful for spirit's love. And so it is. Mm, thank you, Jane. Welcome. Uh, thank you, Jane. Thank you. See you all. Love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. And Larry, 
Would you like to explain what zero balance healing is for people sure. who can stay on a few minutes? Uh, it's the, it starts with the, the, we are two bodies. We are a physical body and we're an energy body. And it's a, we teach how to touch structure and energy simultaneously. So it's the interface of where energy becomes form and structure and where structure is connected to energy. It works mostly on the skeletal system uh, because that is a dense level of energy in our body. It works mostly with the joints uh, by putting some traction through a joint. So it has an osteopathic connection by lengthening and putting a little bit of tension through the joint. And that allows energy to flow through it. The other part is something we call a fulcrum where you use your fingertip and you put it in to the bone area and you just hold it. And a fulcrum allows the energy that's stuck in the body to reorient itself and to have a clear flow, raising the vibration of the whole body in the process. We don't uh, try to go in on the level of duality and work on say a problem on the level of the problem. We raise uh, the energy and by raising a higher frequency in the body, the older, weaker ones in our history will go away. Mm. So it's always going and increasing the vibration and how that shows up at the end of a ZB session. And some of you may know, you could go into, you know, afterwards and go into a mirror in your bathroom or wherever, just to see what your face looks like. Uh, the vibration that rises increases uh, uh, light in the body, a radiant light, and it can bring on a glow in your face and in your body uh, and a sparkle in your eyes. And that's uh, how you know the energy has been, uh, the vibration of your whole being has been lifted. Oh, that sounds fascinating. And <laughs> Jane has been working with you for a while. So she definitely, her testimonial, I guess, um, just had me curious as to what that is. Yeah. Jane was my uh, co-minister with uh, the Baltimore Rays of Healing. So. Mm. So we have a we have a good history together. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Larry. And I don't know if there are any final questions or um, if everyone can go and just bask in the warmth of your healing now. <laughs> yes, do that. <laughs> rest of your day. Yes, I will definitely be doing that. <laughs> Thank you again so much, Larry, for this. This is um, fantastic. It truly was. And thank you, Donna, for producing. Yes, thank sure. You. Yes, thank you. All it was you. nice to see everyone on a on a Saturday for our our new schedule. This yeah. was great. Yep, new beginning. Mm -hmm. Yes, and for you too, Larry. Yes, me too. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. All right. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Thank Bye. you. Do. Bye for now. Oh, there's the real Christine. Yep. And thank you, Larry. <laughs>